Text-to-speech generators are fantastic for assisting with the um, reading program that you might have going in your class. Children can either write something and listen to it back, which is good for them to be able to hear the kind of uh, writing they're doing. It's also interesting how it can display their punctuation, their um, organisation of sentences. Uh, it's also nice that they can cut and paste a, a large body of text to be able to listen to what is in it to assist with their reading or just as a kind of story time activity. For a long time I've used Read Please 2003 which is a nice program unfortunately it's now 13 years old and rather hard to get hold of. So I'm very pleased that I've been able to find a replacement which I want to introduce you to today. Uh, it goes by the name of Bella Bolka. I'm not quite sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly but uh, anyway this program is available for free and one of the things I actually really like about it um, it's also available as a portable application so you can find it uh, download it as a portable application as well so their website um, shows the version and if you have a look uh, they do actually have a portable version it's quite small it's a free download uh, and as I say I think it's a program that's really you know, well worth doing well let's actually copy a little bit of their text into um, this program and use it. So we'll just take a bit of the website there. Now you can play it directly from the clipboard, um, but I'm going to paste it in here and we'll click on the play. Balabolka is a text-to-speech TDS program. All computer voices installed on your system are available to Balabolka. The on-screen text can be saved as a WAV, MP3, MP4, AUG or WMA file. Now, I think this ability to save the file as a, an audio file is really, really important too. If you've been following along with what I've been doing with Oftenet, where we're providing podcasts through the teacher's computer uh, via a router to and Wi-Fi to bring your own devices in the classroom, when we provide audio files in that system, we do actually need to provide them in the two formats. Uh, that's MP3 and the OGG file. So we can save our... Um, audio from this program directly into those two, just name it narration.mp3 or narration.ogg, uh, we don't have to convert them, it will save them in both formats, uh, and they are ready to go directly into our Oftenet system. So it's a lovely little program, it is multilingual, you can get it to read a number of different languages, uh, I'm very happy with the way it's reading the English, and I think it's uh, an excellent program to be working with in the classroom, I hope you'll use it.